solid hit. Real solid hit. Man, I think this destroyed that bait. Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you came back for another episode. I'm filming this intro a day before the trip that I'm going to take right after work tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And we're going to be leaving Milford, Delaware to go down south to a favorite place of mine that I like to go to at least once or twice a year if I'm able to. And we're going to go down to the Indian River Inlet. We're going to target a species that I've not caught in multiple years. And the only reason I caught them is because I caught them by accident. I was looking for another species. But when I got down there, I had a specific rig of mine that I was trying to use, and I was having no luck at all. I literally fished for 10 hours and couldn't get anything to bite. However, in between those 10 hours, I saw two older gentlemen literally pulling fish, one right after the other, just with, for two hours. And I was like, what in the heck are these guys using to catch these fish? So before we discuss what we have right down below here, I called multiple bait shops down in Sussex County, a few in Kent County, and nobody had these baits at all. They just sold out and literally on back order for weeks. So I took a long shot. I called my boy Steve right here, Smith's Bait Shop, literally right down the road from me. And my man came through. Steve, thank you very much, man. He had multiple pegs full of the Nun Guesser spoon that we're getting ready to use tomorrow. The fish were going absolutely batty on this bait right here. What are we targeting? That's going to be the American Shad. We won't get into details about the fish as of yet. We'll do that tomorrow as we get into the video. But uh, they were destroying these fish off of this bait. They had a little spoon with about a foot and a half liter on an inline sinker going to your rod. And all they were doing was a fast retrieve. And they were just bashing this bait. So hopefully we're going to have that same luck tomorrow when we get down there. We maybe only have two and a half hours worth of light because the sunset's going to be coming around 8 o'clock. And the peak of the tide is going to be around the same time. So hopefully they're around that area uh, within those couple hours and we can bring some of those shiny little beauties up in front of you. So stick with me and let's get into this. I made my way down to the uh, inlet here. That's the Indian River Inlet Bridge that you're looking at right in front of you right here. And for two hours, we're gonna try to get that American Shad on the end of the line, but we could have alternative species pop on uh, this little spoon here. I've heard right now there's some small blues that are hanging around, potentially a striper, you never know. But uh, this particular species that we're going for, it's bluish green in color. We're gonna put a little graphic right up here so you can see the actual fish. Uh, there's a dark spot present at the top of the gill flap, then it's followed by a row of smaller spots right along the way. It's got a tapered uh, blunt snout, a lower jaw that's pointed with the tip up that fits into a V-shaped uh, notch that's in its upper jaw. There is no size limit on this fish at all, and the daily limit is 10 in any combination with hickory shad. Uh, these fish can range all from the Atlantic Ocean to the Delaware Bay to uh, the Delaware Rivers and all the tributaries uh, that are around here in the state of Delaware. But this fish right here spends most of its time in the sea and then it comes in for the spawn and goes into the freshwater areas uh, towards dams and everything else to go ahead and try to lay their eggs and then come back out or potentially die. Their size ranges can get be anywhere from 15 to 24 inches. The male is called a buck and the female is called a roe. The female being the larger of the two in that species right there. Several lures can be used. You can use jigs, small jigs that is, shad darts, and again, small spoons like we're using today. If you're curious as to what the state record is for an American shad, it's been held since 1972. That's six pounds, 12 ounces, and already, uh, it looks like he's got a, uh, a uh, snapper on there, snapper blue. A little small one, but uh, we're going to get to work and uh, see if we can try to get something on the end of the line as well. We've got our leader line. It's about a foot and a half. We've got the inline sinker right here, and that leads right into the rod. And all we do is just bomb it right out here, guys, and hopefully something stabs it on the way in. <laughs> but have got to watch out for the gentleman that's right beside me. I don't want to get in his way or cross his line. But you can see all the bait fish already jumping up. see how long it takes to get a fish on the end of the line here. There's a fish right there already, guys. First cast. Hopefully still on there. I think, oh, yeah, he's jumping. <laughs> Looks like we have our first shad on already. See all the uh, bait fish jumping around? And what do we got? There she is. That's what we're looking for. You see how wild these things get as soon as I touch them. But 
but that worked out perfectly. Oh, this is how crazy these fish are. They do not want to be held and they're very brittle with their uh, scales because they do come off very easily. But let's get a quick look at it and we'll get them back in the water. She's gone. I bombed it out here. I wait about maybe 10 seconds as George told me when I talked to him last week. And then you just have a decent retrieve going on and they will smash it, they'll chase it. Keep the tip down a little bit. There's a fish on right there, guys. Another one. Guys, got one right over here too. He's got a blue on his. I think we missed that fish there. Oh, he's still on there. <laughs> there we go. See what I'm talking about? How they destroy this bait as soon as you put it into the water. Gotta keep it over here so he doesn't fall into the rocks. <laughs> All right. She's gone. But you'll see how far this thing goes just with that little sinker. It goes way out there. And that's where you want to cast is right into that current. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fish on. Nice. That's a decent one right there. Need some WD-40? <laughs> there you go. There's a can for you right there, guys. Hopefully somebody sees it and that's it. Oh, he came off right at the edge. See how easy they come off? It's amazing what you can do when you have the right tools. <laughs> In this case, lure. But I'm hoping there's a couple of the species in the mix of these fish. Man, obliterated that bait. Put up in a decent fight right here. All right, what do we got? Looks like we got a bluefish here. A little snapper. <laughs> that is definitely a, a feisty fish here. We gotta watch out because these guys got teeth, and uh, he will not calm down. It's got to calm down at some point in time. There we go. We got control of them. But a little snapper blue. There she goes. Get into them snappers. You got to check that line every once in a while to make sure you didn't nick the line. It looks like everything's good so far. Give you kind of a little bit of a close-up of the spoon right here. It looks like an actual spoon that had the handle kind of cut off halfway. And then when you turn it sideways, you can see that there's a small hook that's welded right onto the spoon and it flutters back and forth in the water. And that reflection from the sun is what triggered those fish to jump on that bait. Because they think it's those little bait fish that you've been seeing jumping around here. High tide is at 747, I think I said it was. Actually, 758. I wanted to make a correction on that. I think it's, I said 747, I was wrong.
that's a solid hit right there. That felt like a blue hit right there. Oh man, that thing's got some fight on it. Oh man, he snapped me off, guys. Literally snapped me off. Nope, we're still good. But that was a solid hit. That could have been a striper, the way that thing hit. And it is amazing how far that little bait goes out there with that one ounce sinker. Damn, that's a hit. Really good hit. Using that current, it kind of made me feel like it was bigger than it would have was. Give me a little head shake. Oh, see that jump? <laughs> That's the biggest one so far. Really nice one right there. Oh. Come on. Jesus. They're slimy. That's why they slip out of your hands real easily. All right. She's gone. These are flying. They're having a ball because they don't have all that boat traffic that's normally out here on the weekends. Man, my man got one over here. Oh, I think that was a blue. Oh, that was a hit. Yeah, it's a blue fish, it looked like. <laughs> oh. Nice. Fish are banging left and right here. She's gone. There's a hit right there. Nice. Get a nice little jump out of this guy. Oh, he's a fighter. He's a fighter. <laughs> Come on. Give it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. But you can see how it looks like a mini tarpon right by the mouth right there. One thing about the area that we're in right here, you don't necessarily have to come down for a day. I don't know if you notice across the way, and then as well right behind us right here, you can actually camp here. I don't know what the prices are, but I will definitely put a link down about the park here uh, and the different activities and uh, camping areas and everything else that you have around here. Looks like we're gonna have to uh, possibly retie again. You can see this knot that's going on right here, and I do not have my glasses on. I'm gonna put another graphic up here, but we're not gonna go all the way over there. Again, we're gonna make this all about fishing here but over here to the left and over here to the right if you got a few hundred yards that way you've got two long jetties that are out there that's the north jetty and the south jetty very popular spot for a lot of people who want to come out and striper fish but you got to be pretty much be experienced to be out there especially if you're going all the way out up to the tw towards the tip of uh, those jetties there's special uh, shoes cleats that you have to wear rock cleats uh, and if you don't have them uh, very easily on the dark rocks, it's got moss and everything else on it and everything, like that rock right there, fall and hurt yourself. For people getting severely injured or even potentially drowning and dying, it's happened. So if you're not with somebody experienced, don't go out there by yourself, man. Always have a buddy with you just in case you get in trouble. Again, multiple species can be caught out of here. You can get uh, American Shad like you're seeing right now. You can get Bluefish that you saw, Striper, 
You can get oyster crackers. You can get tog. You got giant sheep's head sitting up on these rocks over here too. But it's pretty diverse, fish-wise. It's the only downfall with this here. The thing likes to wrap up on itself a lot. So you gotta do a lot of untangling uh, with this particular style uh, rig. Look at the vast amount of bait fish that are right along here. It's like literally a long highway of these bait fish sitting right along these rocks. Thousands and thousands of them. Right there, solid hit. Real solid hit. Man, I think this destroyed that bait. All right. Man, this one's got a chunk taken out of him, man. I don't know if the uh, blues might have got to him, maybe a shark, who knows. Wait till you see the belly of this fish right here. This whole gill section is gone. But look at this belly. Big old nip right there. While I'm doing my last tie up right here, if you haven't already done so, smash that subscribe button. Click that notification bell, that way inform the all of our future episodes. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Help us out on the algorithm. Uh, and again, share the video out. Let your friends know about all these cool videos we're trying to bring up in front of you. I wanna tell you too, uh, down on the bottom right hand corner there, uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Luis Reyes. I just put this thing on here a couple days ago and it's a special thanks uh, portion on our YouTube channels. And I had a gentleman, you know, without you know asking, uh, donate money to the channel. So if you're gracious enough and you wanna go ahead and try to donate a couple dollars to the channel to help out the cause, go ahead and click that little heart with the dollar sign in, in the middle of it. Of course, I think my Venmo address is inside of the uh, description field. And as well, the uh, bait that we have right here and uh, the bait shop that we got them from with their contact information. It's like a light switch went off as soon as that tide peaked because that hit has been absolutely dead on the end of this line right here. Fish uh, jumping up over here. See all the bait fish running around, man? Oh, there's a hit right there. There's bunker or, or striper chasing bait all around here, right in front of us. That's me right here. Look at all those bait fish. <laughs> what do we got here? All right, we got another uh, snapper blue. There's some bigger ones out there. You can see them. See them uh, blowing up over there? There's a, there's a uh, snapper bite going on right now. We gotta get in there because there's some decent sized ones in there. I'm gonna try to cast right in that uh, grouping right there, guys. See if they'll attack this bait. There you go, fish on. That's a decent pull, guys. That's a decent pull. All right, what do we got here? Man, he's a hard fighter, too. I think it's another blue. There we go. How lucky can we get, guys? We got a nice blue bite going on right here. Bigger than the other two we caught. But again, that's paying attention to what's going on around you. I saw the fish blowing up right near the bait. Cast over it and right through it. Decent size. All right, got a two for today. Oh, there she goes. She's down in the water right there. She's gonna come out the other side. Be nice if a gator came through. There you go. Oh man, that's a nice one right there, guys. That's a nice one. Real nice one. All right. Nice. So glad we got into a school blues. Uh oh. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. So fun to play with. Whoa. Look at them all right in front of us.
there's an eddy that's right here, and that's where them bait fish are sitting at, right in this swirl, right beyond the current there. Right there, look at them all jumping out in front of us. They are savaging that bait out there. We're gonna get smacked. Come on, get me. Right directly where the foam is at. That's where they're at. Look at that, guys. That is a whole school of blues out there. How cool is that? There's, oh man, <laughs> that was a hit. There's another one right there. All right, ah, he came off. I think he might have bit the whole blade off too. <laughs> Just like that, he bit me off. It is so beautiful out here at night, but it's so dark out here. But you get to see this beautiful bridge right here over my shoulder. That's the Indian River Inlet Bridge. We fished all the way till dusk, and I think we came out with a banger right here. Hopefully, you guys would have liked that. If you did, give me a thumbs up on that. Drop a comment below. Let me know your thought about it. But uh, I want to go ahead and thank George for turning me on to that Nungesser spoon. Uh, that thing is our virtual fish magnet. I could not keep that American Shad off the end of the line. They're just pelting it left and right. But then we got that extra added bonus right before dusk. We got that awesome snapper blue school that came through and I was able to catch a few as I came through uh, that frenzy of fish right there. So if you haven't already done so guys, again, obviously give me the thumbs up as I mentioned to you a second ago, smash that subscribe button, click that notification bell, share the video out. Hopefully you guys can get down to uh, this inlet right here. It is a state park. It's $5 to get in if you're local, $10 if you're out of state, but it's well worth it, man. If you're a true fisherman, this is a great fishing paradise if you're willing to put the time in because there's multiple species here throughout almost the whole year. But uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Hopefully you're having a great day and hopefully I catch you on the next episode.